books for children. Today we'll be reading the wonderfully, delightfully scary Hunter S. Thompson, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, read by our best friend, Jason. Let's take it away with the number one Casio band. Tuesday, 9 a.m. Now sitting in Wild Bill's Cafe on the outskirts of Las Vegas. I saw it all very clearly. There is only one road to LA. U.S. Interstate 15. A straight run with no back roads or alternate routes. Just a flat out high speed burn through Barker and Barstow and Purdue. And then on the Hollywood Freeway. Straight into frantic oblivion. Safety, obscurity, just another freak in the freak kingdom. But in the meantime, for the next five or six hours, I'd be the most compulsive thing on the goddamn evil road. The only fire apple red shark convertible between butt and Tijuana. Blazing along this desert highway with a half-naked hillbilly mental case at the wheel. Is it better to wear my purple or green alpaca shirt? Or nothing at all? No way to hide in this monster. This will not be happy run. Not even the sun god wants to watch this. He has gone behind a cloud for the first time in three days. No sun at all. The sky is gray and ugly. Just as I pulled into Wild Bill's back street, half hidden parking lot, I heard a roar overhead and looked up to see a big silver smoke towering DC-8 taking off. About 2,000 feet above the highway. The man from life. Did they have all the photos they needed? All the facts? Had they fulfilled their responsibilities? Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next installment. Bye.